My name is Dr. Dr. Trevor Lawson, and I am a large animal veterinarian with a focus in equine practice in uh, rural Nova Scotia. I'm um, a 2004 graduate from the Atlantic Veterinary College, and I found my love of horses in vet school. Uh, and really have spent a great deal of the last 20 years heavily focused on the welfare of horses. Uh, we, uh, in our practice, we do a little bit of everything. We cover uh, repro, lameness, uh, a great deal of dentistry. I think that's a really critical part of wellness in horses. Uh, senior nutrition and a whole uh, realm of other uh, items that we work on daily. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of, that's who I am. Yeah, I think, I think the ACES conference coming up this fall is going to have a lot of really good material. Uh, a few of the items just to highlight will be uh, animal welfare and equine practice. I think that's one that we'll be uh, spending some time talking about, as well as uh, the consideration of soundness or lameness in horses and what that means and when it's important, uh, particularly with some discussion hopefully around uh, pre-purchase exams and you know, what they mean to how to go about the veterinarian. Uh, we'll also be spending some time talking about the workforce shortage in veterinary medicine and how that relates in particular to equine practice and what that means to horse owners like yourself. I, I hope that horse owners that attend uh, are going to uh, find it very interactive. Uh, I've seen who's on the speakers list and I think a number of the individuals are just very approachable. So I hope you'll take the opportunity to really engage at the ACES conference. Uh, the goal really to take away is that uh, the old adage that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And, and there's no doubt in mind, my mind that that is true. Uh, the number one way to do that is by having a very sound relationship with your equine practitioner, uh, excellent communication and planning ahead. So I, I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities uh, at the ACES conference in October to, uh, to further kind of develop those relationships and uh, hopefully pick up some good pieces of information that will help each of the owners that are there being prepared for the future. Yeah, I think maybe just, I guess just to kind of close, um, thinking a little bit about the workforce challenges that we've seen in veterinary medicine over the last number of years, uh, maybe just a comment that I don't think these are, are necessarily new, but they have become a bit more exasperated over the last number of years, especially since the pandemic. Um, I hope that those in attendance will, will kind of come with an open mind to what that means for the future and uh, what it might mean for the future of equine practice, the adoption of new technologies, uh, using telemedicine and the, the need for improved communication between clients and their veterinary practice. Um, so I think those are, are some of the highlights that I hope we'll be able to really touch on in October.